Welcome back. Today we're playing this game called Outfoxed by Game Right. It's for two to four players ages five and up. The maker of the game called it a cooperative whodunit game. Here's the game description. Mrs. Plumpert's prized pot pie has gone missing. And now it's a chicken chase to crack the case. Move around the board getting clues and then use the special evidence scanner to rule out suspects. You'll have to work together quickly because the guilty fox is hightailing it towards the exit. Will you halt the hungry hooligan before it flies the coop, or will you be outfoxed? This game is a cooperative game. That means all players work together to win. All players win together, or all players lose together. You find the game takes about 20 minutes to play. The object of the game is to narrow the suspect list down to one fox that stole the pies before he or she gets away. That is done by collecting clues and eliminating suspects. The game consists of a board, 16 suspect cards, and 16 thief cards that match the suspect cards. 12 clues that get read in the decoder. There's four different color game pawns, three custom dice for this game, and a fox figure. To start the game, place the fox figure on the start space. Each player selects a detective pawn and places it in the center start space. The 16 suspect cards are placed around the board. Any two suspect cards are flipped over to start the game. The thief cards have clues on them. They also match one card for each suspect. Now what you do is you mix them up, you select one at random, and you put it into the decoder without looking. Now the decoder hides all the clues, but you can open this side panel here and, re and reveal the clues as you progress throughout the game. The remaining thief cards are removed from the game. The clue markers are placed on the board randomly and upside down. The player who most recently ate pie gets to go first. This player will take all three dice and decide whether they want to search for clues or reveal suspects. Before they roll, they will say clues or suspects. Then they roll the dice. The player must roll three paw prints to search for a clue or three eyes to reveal two more suspects. If the player doesn't get three of a kind on the first roll, they can roll up to three more times to try and get three of a kind. They are allowed to set matching dice aside as they go. If after three rolls, they don't get three of a kind, the fox figure moves four spaces along the path. That player's turn is now over. If the player rolls three eyes, they can reveal two suspects by flipping over two more cards, any cards that they want. And that player's turn is over. If all three dice show a paw print, the player adds up the total number of paw prints shown on all three dice and moves their detective pawn the same number of spaces as shown on the dice. They can move towards a space in any direction, but they cannot go diagonally. They can enter or leave a clue space from anywhere. Once they reach a clue, they flip it over and place it into the decoder. By opening the decoder, they reveal a clue. A green dot means the suspect is not wearing that item. 
so any suspects wearing that item are no longer a suspect and are removed from the game. A red dot means a suspect is wearing that item, so any suspects wearing that item are still suspects. This is the end of that player's turn. The next player now goes by repeating the process. Players need to work together to reveal as many suspects and clues as possible and narrow the suspect list down to one suspect. At that point, the players make a guess based on the evidence collected. You remove the thief card from the decoder. If it matches the suspect card, all the players win. If the cards do not match, then all the players lose. If the fox figure reaches the exit before the players can make a guess, then they all lose. Jessica and I will show you what it looks like to play a few turns in the game. We have everything set up. We have our pieces out. We have our fox ready. We have our uh, thief card here, and we have two suspect cards already flipped over. Jessica, you ate pie for dessert yesterday, so you get to go first. I want to search for clues. Yay! Good. And what's that clue? This is a pocket watch. So dun, we'll dun, add dun, the pocket watch dun. here. Open it up. What color is it? It's green. It's green. So that means Alice is no longer a suspect. Yep. Now it's my turn. I'm going to try to reveal two more suspects. I rolled three eyes. I get to flip over two. I'm going to flip over this one. That's Arthur. And we have Ingrid. But neither have a pocket watch, so we'll have to keep them there for now. I'm going to search for clues. I got three pearls. It's an umbrella. Let's put the umbrella in the decoder. What color is it? It is red. It's red! So what does that mean? It means that... The suspect has an umbrella. So Arthur can't be the suspect because he does not have an umbrella. So we've narrowed it down to Ingrid and Lily and the other suspects that are not shown yet. I will try to get another clue. Nope. 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 So the fox has to move four spaces along the board. If the fox gets all the way to the end, before we narrow down our suspect list, then we're going to lose. The game continues like this until the players narrow the suspect list down to one fox, or the fox escapes. Each player takes a turn rolling the dice and trying to reveal suspects or find a clue. You want to keep track of the clues as you go. We only have three suspects left. I'm going to look for clues. You got three paws. Move over here. All right. What'd you get? A pearl necklace. A pearl necklace. Red. So what does that mean? That means that these two are out. Good. So let's make our final guess. Who do we think it is? Um, Lily. Lily. And we're right. We got it. We won the game. The game difficulty can be changed from easy to medium to hard. We play on medium. The game is made easier by only having the fox move three spaces along the board when a player does not roll three of a kind. The game is made harder by moving the fox figure five spaces for not rolling three of a kind. We started out by playing the easier version and quickly moved on to medium. We tried the harder version a few times, but we didn't have good results, so we play on medium all the time. On a scale of one to four detectives, I'll give this four detectives. I would also give this game four detectives. It is so much fun. There really is a good amount of strategy and some luck. It took my kids a while to learn exactly how to play, and once in a while we do have to go back and check the rules. The game is always exciting. 
We win probably 70% of the time, but it's almost always close. I like the logic behind it, and it really gets us thinking. We spend the entire game making predictions and matching clues and suspects so everyone is always engaged. I hope you like this review and learn how to play this game. Be sure to subscribe to see more family fun games and activities.